I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter, and I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. But it will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. The Bulldog, or English Bulldog, is not exactly what you'd call a classically handsome gentleman, but in fact he's so sort of ugly that he's adorable. Uh, he's got a really pronounced underbite, he's very wide, um, unfortunately sometimes he gets overweight so that's very important if you have a Bulldog, you don't want to let him get overweight because he will have a hard time breathing. And just the way they kind of waddle and lumber along, they're just delightful creatures. Yale University's athletic mascot is of course a bulldog named Handsome Dan. So that sort of like, you know, says it right there. Um, it's, handsomeness is all in the eye of the beholder. Um, with bulldogs though, they really, really suffer in hot climates. So whenever it gets hot where you live, you've got to really mind your um, air conditioning and your fan. You really mustn't leave them on air conditioned when it gets hot because they could actually die of it. I've actually seen people walking their English Bulldogs on the streets of New York in the summertime and the Bulldog just flattens out on the sidewalk. He just doesn't want to go any further. And once they get to a certain size, it's actually not easy to lift them up and transport them. So these are all considerations that you want to take into account with your dog walking schedule. And, um, but you know, it's, it's very doable. Some, some very big celebrities have them. Adam Sandler has one, in fact. Um, he dressed his dog up in a tuxedo for his own wedding. Howard Stern's wife, Beth Stern, has a bulldog named Bianca, and they're kind of an odd couple together because Beth is really tall and thin, and then Bianca's quite the opposite. So, you know, um, people really have a soft spot for these doggies, and um, as long as we take care of them the right way, why not have them as a companion? Mm -hmm.